Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So hello everyone, welcome, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, we're so happy to have you at our Little Yellow House. So today I thought I was going to do maybe a rendition of uh what what do we call that it's it's like a s collage you know how we put um several things down like rolodex cards or index cards or what have you and then we collage over them and then we cut them apart well it gave me an idea so what i did was i grabbed a little bit of some coffee dyed paper i pulled some out already so i'm going to set that aside and then i grabbed just some random type of things um i have this butterfly from artsology uh if you go to artsology i think it's artsology.com or, or just google it and she has a bunch of freebies and i got some butterflies off of there um this is a doily i just put on the cop on my uh printer and press copy and just made a copy of it it's a little one i got at a um uh, probably a garage sale so I just made a copy of that I thought I might use that and then I got out my houses and some of my different things that I've pulled out of magazines and things so um, I have that little pile uh, let's see I guess I'll set that to the side and then I have uh, my bird ephemera holder it looks like that came out it goes in there I guess <laughs> um is this my bird mostly birds it looks like i need to cut some more birds it looks like <laughs> i haven't finished this but mostly birds uh so i thought well maybe i'll use birds we'll see sometimes i struggle with using birds and then i have um some digitals from let's see here um from my favorite ephemera that's these different ones i thought maybe i would use those on a page and then i have some things from uh that most recent probably most recent purchase of etsy from artful era gallery so um, i'll try to remember to put those in the description box so anyways i thought i might use those and then i have my butterfly box lots of stuff going on here uh where to put over to the side okay uh then what i did was i've just been folding paper and i even have some dictionary folding paper in half so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna for now just do six pages because i'm doing them in sets of two and i'll show you here in a second what what the plan is i haven't done this before so uh we'll see how it goes <laughs> Uh, but I do think that getting a crisp line is going to be um, a good tip. You know, I think it's going to help us. Nice crisp line. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I want to, to um, put the two pages like this um is that what i want to do no i want to put the two pages like this because i want you to be able to put them in a signature so you could actually put like this with this if you wanted to maybe we'll do one one like that put this to the side for now i'll put it up here um let's flip that over so yeah so what i'm trying to do is make it as a signature so there's one um uh, here would be two so these pages would go together you know in the signature should i put it like that or do it like this i think i'm gonna go matchy on this okay all right, so there we go. I'm going to set this one aside, too. Maybe we'll get to that. Okay, but what we're going to work on is this part. 
And if you wanted to, you could have them separated like this. If you wanted to do like a hinge, but that's not what I'm doing. I want to just prepare pages for a signature. So I'm going to put them in their signature like that. I think what I'm going to do just so I can see that a little better is um, just to stress it a little bit. I just want to make sure I see that fold a little bit better for these old eyes. <laughs> there, that's good. Okay. Maybe I'll do this one too. Hope everybody's doing good. It's another mild day here. Super nice. Very sunny, but mild. And then later this afternoon, it'll get into the 80s. But for now, it's it's pretty mild. So every time it's like this, real sunny like this and nice, I just want to coffee dye and set a bunch of papers out. But you guys, I have so much coffee dye paper. <laughs> okay, so there's there's our two. So we're going to work on two, two different ones. So let's start with this one first. Okay, so here's what we're going to work on. So this is my idea. I've got my glue book over here. My thought was to overlap. Let's see. How, how am I thinking? i got to think through this. Um, I may, what I might do is fold these okay i don't think i'm gonna use that that's gonna confuse me um bear with bear with i have it in my mind but i have <laughs> i haven't sussed it out you know what i mean it's not been vetted in any way so okay so here's what i'm gonna do uh let's take like this isn't that beautiful looks like a painting but i don't think it is it's out of a magazine okay so what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it and cut it or tear it would be better and I'm gonna glue part on one and part on the other of course you could do this once it's already in your book but I wanted to get some done you know and just have them on the side here to work with if I wanted to. So if you did it in the hinge way, then you would separate these. Don't put them, you know, like a signature and then you would cut them apart. Like what, we, what I was thinking um, initially where you lay them side by side build it with your pictures and then uh, cut it apart if that makes any sense <laughs> oh gosh that's kind of a risk with magazine paper is that tearing when you're aggressive bit of darkness there okay so then I have that which I like now I think I'll start building maybe I'll put that's too big I was gonna put like maybe a little neighborhood that would be pretty on one too <clears throat> That's on the side of a mountain, so that might not work. This may be a complete bust if I can't figure out what I'm doing here. There's one. Okay, I think...
I just want to fold that. Okay. All right. I think I might put this one here. I'm going to leave a gap uh, just on the side here so that some of this can come over. But I think it might be. Well, let's see. Is that what I want to do? Because this little tip here, I don't know if I want to mess with that necessarily. But if I come like this. How about that? All right. One day this will be in a signature and we'll see how great it looks. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, okay, so um, what's happening around this place? What is happening? Hmm. That's not a lot. This this is a little bit of a status quo type of week. Not a lot of extra going on except for the fact later this week there'll be extra. Uh, you know, I'll be getting ready to go to Kathy's. And um, maybe I'll put that little smokestack to where it's a little bit isolated. You can see it better. Oopsie. Um. So I do have things to get prepared for for that. Lots of things, really. <laughs> the thing about it is, is most of it is close, you know, really, really close to the time that I leave. So. Um, and it's just simple things like just last minute, make sure all the laundry is up and ready and. Um. I've got some things in the freezer for Joey to eat, but he says he's, he knows how to take care of himself. He'll be just fine. And I believe it. He's such a good cook. Okay, so that's fun. Let's see if I can bring you down just a little bit lower without messing up too much. Maybe that's a little bit better. Hope I don't bump it with my head. Okay, is there anything else we could put in there? Maybe, is there a butterfly or something we want to add? Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> These are from the paper outpost. Let's see what these are. I think these actually came from uh, one of those pages that is, uh, uh, you know, it looks like a vintage book page. And then I just used it to cut these out. I don't know if any of them are going to show. It's a pretty colorful background. It's interesting how many camouflage in to the trees there. See about yellow. That might work. It's pretty. Keep looking. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that at all. Let's try that. See what happens. It's a fun page. If I do say so myself. Of course, that's in the eye of the beholder, you know. And you can just do it however you want. You can put whatever you want. You could cut out people, which would be fun, wouldn't it? I'm just going to distress these real quick.
Got to put that down while I'm at it. Antenna-wise, I'll probably put some antennas on there at a later time. I don't think I'm going to do it today. And I would just either draw them on with a nice little fine point or, uh, you know, of course, you could use your black thread and and just glue on some black thread. But um, I think I'm going to wait on that. What else is going on? Joey has a friend coming um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and probably Sunday. Uh, they have a Hot Wheels show in another state, so they're going to travel together. It's going to be kind of a fun guy thing. Looking, they're really looking forward to it, and I look forward to it because I know it's fun fun for Joey, but it's also a lot of work, you know. Okay, now you could put a label on this, you know, to make it uh, like if you want to label the page, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that, and then when I, um, why is that not bending right? Got it a little bit over, there we go. Then when I need a you know, a couple of pages in a signature. I already have it ready. It's fun. When you put it in the signature, you're going to have to make sure they're aligned. You know it. That's the only probably going to be the biggest difficulty with having pages that don't have the same height is making sure they line up if you're doing these ahead of time. So, okay, one down. The next one, I don't even know where I put that paper. Oh, here it is. Okay, I think I'm going to collect all this back together. These are so fun to cut out, you know. Uh, just different pieces of th things that you like in magazines. Like, look at this. This is fun. Aren't those sweet? Different magazines, different books that, you know, are your cutting books. Kind of fun to cut out. This is out of, uh, what is this out of? Arch Dice Digest. Hmm. Feels like magazine or uh, catalog, but I guess it's not. I guess it's a magazine. But you could use catalog, you know, your different floral and seed catalogs. Okay. All right, I'm going to set that over here. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do is put this butterfly on, but... I want to... I think I want to put a border, and I don't think I'm going to go with the blue right now. I'll put that over here. I think I'm going to go with this. Just kind of tear. Just kind of tear some border. And this is the one from. Where is this one from? From my favorite ephemera. I have several different borders and things like that from my favorite ephemera, and I love them. Oops, I didn't get that very straight. I'd love to have a page with that. That's so pretty. Or fabric, even. I like jiggling. Hopefully that's somewhat straight. Okay, so there's one. We'll put that on there. And then I think I'm going to go... down this side. 
I'm just going to take part of it. Okay. Yeah. I keep telling Joey about different things that <laughs> what I have in the freezer that he and his buddy can have for dinner or that there is a coupon for such and such to eat and he just keeps laughing at me he's like we'll figure it out you know <laughs> isn't that funny man I cannot wait to see Kathy I know I keep saying that but and Actually, since we've lived in different states for the past probably 40 years, close to 40 years, we've lived in different states. Far enough apart, you have to take a connector, a connecting flight, you know what I mean? Um, this is probably the shortest that we have gone without seeing each other because, you know, she was just here for... Uh, when my mom passed away in uh, January. Uh, but of course, that was just under different circumstances. So I'm just so tickled to be able to go and see her. Okay, I'm going to put... I'm going to put this on first. And you know, guys, we don't even have anything planned. I mean, that's just the way we work it. No plans... Something comes up, we consider it. You know what I mean? <laughs> we are just in each other's face. That's it. We're just sharing space and being in each other's face. And that's all there is to it. And we love it. Though We'll go so long and not even talk. We'll just be both working on different things. And mostly out in the studio, of course. We love being in the studio together. And um, working on different things. And just having a ball. Yeah, this is really crooked, but I think it'll still work out. We don't plan, you know, I mean, they, they might have certain things that they plan to have for dinner. But uh, typically, oh, I forgot to cut this. That's okay. Typically, uh, we don't even plan, you know, make dinner plans or meal plans. We just are like, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry too. Okay, let's go do something. You know, let's go see what's in the fridge or whatever. I mean, that's just the way we roll and we love it that way. I am going to cut this because I think it's going to be easier on the signature to cut it. If I can do it or tear it. A little rough there. Be better if you if you did uh, do it ahead of time. Okay. All right. Back to it. There we go. <clears throat> now I have already. I've already, uh, what am I trying to say? Distressed. Thank you. Whoever said that. I've already distressed it. And basically I just put it down on my paper and rubbed over, you know, the little parts or little antennas have been distressed. So I want to get, um, both antennas on the same page. Let's see. I want to go in. I think I might want to go in this way, actually. No, because I have so much detail over here. So let's go this way. 
All right, so it's tricky because, you know, if I if I cut it here, I have two pieces. But see how it's banded together there? So if there's some way I can adjust it to where it's one piece on this page and one piece on that page, that's great. So the only trick is trying to make sure I, I get that and I get these antennas on one. So I think I've got it settled. Might move it up a little bit. I'd like to have it in a better turn, but I don't think that's going to be possible in getting the antennas. So do it this way. That antenna is right there. Right there, wanting to get in all the business. Okay, here we go. So anyways, that's just something I'm looking at while I'm cutting, tearing, hopefully, hopefully not tearing it in two pieces. Probably better to tear the big side. Yep, I tore it in two. Oh well. Let's put this on first. And then we'll adjust the other. We'll get it figured out. I mean, it's only paper. This one was a free digital. So with the exception of just having to go in and print it again. And doing a quick cutout. You really haven't lost anything if it doesn't work out, you know. Can always re redo. Okay. Okay. I have a little, I'm over just a smidge, so I am going to cut that. I think it'll match up okay. And then let's try to put its wing back on. You could probably hold this down with washi or something. Does that look right? There we go. <laughs> Such pretty colors. There we go. Now, just where I tore it, I'm going to put a little bit more here since it kind of revealed some of that white. Okay. So there's another page for, you know, a signature. Two pages, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I like it. All right. Now, this one has a little bit of a hangover here. Let's do that doily, and then I think that'll be a good, a good uh, pile. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to do two more coffee dyes instead of a habsy again. 
I think that's going to work out better. Give it a good crease. Did I already crease this one good? Nope. And then that's so pretty inside. Let's maybe I'll save that and use this as the inside. So I'm going to just give myself a little line here. that little thing now let me look here how let's see how would we do this so we have I'll call this the book the book book page this is a full page we'll put this half page okay so the half page we have on the right the half page on the right okay so let's put the half page here on the left. Okay. All right. So how about that? And then do we have a bird that might live there happily? I feel like I'm missing a bird. There we go. Okay. Got, I've got too much going on here. Let's see. <laughs> that is such a sweet bird. Hmm. Hmm. I just don't know. Birds are tricky for me. I don't know why birds are so tricky for me. So that's a real bird, and I don't want to put a drawing of a bird, you know, near it, by it. Um, this is pretty. Let's see what this looks like. That's very pretty. Uh, always, always struggling with the birds. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. And then maybe this might be where we put a... Uh, these little birds are from my porch prints these little guys okay uh these are just from a i don't know conservation or bird and bloom or something like that I'm not sure okay but i do like this uh i like that and it is possible to use this again Maybe just use part of it. I look at this and I think, oh, that fabric. So pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm not minding it. Now let's see if I have something little in here that might work.
I was thinking something little. This looks like it's out of a little teeny tiny notebook. So cute. Almost like, uh, I'd have to look a little closer, but maybe a um, passport. Kind of looks like maybe 1940. I think that's cute. Um, and then on here, maybe we find a label. These are some that these are some that I made. Uh, this is almost collaging, isn't it? Let's see if I can find kind of a label that I'm looking for. There's a plumbing one, but I don't think I want the plumbing. <laughs> I think that'll do it. Okay. Now to get it done. So I do want to, I do want to distress. I hope I can remember how I had this. Okay. That one's distressed already. I think I'm going to tear this edge actually. Tear that edge, and I think I'm going to tear this edge. I haven't been on Etsy lately, so I haven't had anything to share, but I know that things are happening that our favorite people are continuing to design because I keep getting notifications. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that down. Glue. So yeah. And uh, you know I I've told you this before that I like to if I get like a hankering and I just have a little change in my pocket and I just want to spend it, you know, uh, <laughs> um, I'll sort it by dollar amount. Try to look at, you know, a dollar. You can get some really great things. Okay. So now this one goes down. So it's about an inch from the top and a little over an inch from the side. That is so cute. It really works well with those birds too. I'm really uh, wanting to go pick up some pumpkins, but I'm not prepared to do what needs to be done to them for our, for what I get them for. <laughs> Cause you know, I always spray them with clear spray paint so that I can, cause I use a lot of them inside. Okay. And I like them to be nice and you can get them, sh you can make them shiny or you can use the mat, 
whichever, but I, I like them to be freshly coated. I use them around the table and such. I like it like that. And you can use Mod Podge. I've seen them use, people use Mod Podge and like put, you know, napkins on them. And I feel like I did that one year, years ago. Maybe when I had my store, I remember having decorative pumpkins and I think that's what I did. Uh, but um, that's not really what I'm going to do this year. So anyways, yeah, I don't want to go get the pumpkins yet. I'm not really ready for it. But I'm tempted because if you were to walk at our house, go um, across the little farm road, walk through the field, walk over the railroad tracks, walk down a huge hill, you would be at the pumpkin farm. I mean, that is where they're at. So when we drive out, go around, you know, all of that, um, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump from our house. So every time I go anywhere, I go by it, and I'm like, oh, it's time to get pumpkins. You could do this to your digitals. You know, if you had a really neat digital that you wanted to make a um, double signature page out of, you know, you could easily do this. Okay. Now... This one needs a little distressing. So I'm going to try to do it without tearing it. One of the things I try to do is a little section at a time, holding down like its main point, trying really hard. And then I, I work on out. Try not to pull too much, but I just find that not scrubbing back and forth helps. But there are times where you've seen I still tear it. But how pretty do these look when you do cut out? You know, when you really cut out and fussy cut them like that. They look so pretty on a page. Biting my tongue so I don't tear anything. Okay, I think that's done. Yeah. All right, now <laughs> to glue it. Now to glue it. Yikes. I'm kind of going to use the same type of method. Just work in a small area. You could also use your art glitter glue. But... Um, I and I thought about it, but I didn't think I would be able to hold the paper right to be able to get it. Okay, gently. <clears throat> I think I'm going to let it cross over and then I'll cut it. Oh, I don't know if I want to cut that tail. Can I get you not? There we go. <laughs> Make sure everybody's down. All right. along there. I'm going to let that dry for a second and then I'll cut it. Okay. Now this I'm going to just go like 
that. I think I will use art glitter glue. This is off of a very, very fragile book. And uh, I know if I put glue stick to it, it is going to fall apart. This is a little piece that I used my embossing circle on that I got at a garage sale. And then I just did some other stamping on it. All right. Is this a sticker? Nope. Okay. Let's see how this is going. I don't know. Am I going to be able to do it? Yeah. Again, I think it might be. I don't know. Oof. I hope I don't. I think I'm going to cut it. I was going to say, I just don't want to tear that apart. Can I do it? Could you hear me breathing? <sighs> Oopsie. One little leaf. Still a little bit wet. I like how it turned out. I think they're fun. I don't think it's anything probably new. Somebody else has probably done something similar to this, but I think it just clicked in my head. I haven't seen it, but I think it probably just clicked in my head to do it, you know? Okay. I think that's fun. The only other one I wanted to do, and I know we're, we're at time, but I think this one I can bust out is... Um, just some some different ephemera pieces. So I'm going to just do this really fast. And this really fast. These have not been ironed, it looks like, which is fine. I don't mind that. Kind of has some fun texture to them. edging real quick so I can see the spine all right okay and then I'm just going to take stuff like this and I'm just going to tear away That aside, put that one aside. Oh gosh, a quick distress ink <laughs> help with those edges that aren't exact. bit of a aging like that all right and then I'm going to just take it right here Maybe 
it off center a little bit. I think probably, you know, little things like this, ephemera pieces like uh, postcards and receipts and little letters and stuff like that. It's going to be a m lot easier because one, it's, if you don't have glue on your finger, <laughs> one, it's square, you know, and two, when you, when you're tearing it, you're not risking tearing off a antenna or a beak or anything. Okay. I like that. <clears throat> I like when they kind of, well, this one's a little off, but when you can tear one straight line and you tear multiple pieces, you know, apart. I just have too much on my desk right now. <laughs> Too much I've been fiddling with. Oh, I forgot to get that side. That's fun. Empty. You could put one in there. Almost done. Find a, a spot here that's not gluey, sticky, yikes. Um, I think my desk might be on a slight slant because my little roller guy keeps rolling around my dauber. Just leaving a little gap for the signature part. One more and then that's it because... Time and I just am doing I'm just gonna do like a little bit of thirds here if I find something hmm how about this one I love these little postcards and things. Um, I did them I, on a cream paper when I copied them because I thought it would be, you know, so neat to just cut them out and um, use them as they are intended. And then like on this one, I could put a pretty picture on the back uh, and as a postcard, you know what I mean? And then um, tuck it in a little 
pocket or something. Okay. Let's turn the page. I think it's that I haven't put this away. And it's it's the thing that's getting in the way a little bit. <clears throat> All right. We are just about done. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, and I meant to tell you right off the bat that I'm sorry that a couple of my videos have ended abruptly. I have, I didn't realize I have, um, hmm, where's this going to go? Uh, had a couple of updates needed and I didn't realize that, uh, that would cut me off. And there was one update to my phone that needed to happen. And, um, I just said, remind me later, you know, and it decided that it wasn't going to remind me later. It was going to remind me at the, in my video. And so it cut my video off. So I want to tell you an extra love to you. And uh, we do pray blessings over you. I don't just say that. We do. And we believe that you are so loved. So when we say that, we truly believe that you are so loved. What to put? How about a queen? Where's all my queens? I thought I had like a whole page of queens. They're the back. Here's some queens. That's a good one. Okay, everybody, <laughs> we are done. Of course, this would be fun to put some cancellations on, but I won't do that today. Okay, so let's clean up and look at what we've accomplished. First of all, it was super fun. Some things that I learned, and that was... Um, the small ones are can be a little bit difficult to try to keep tiny parts on only on one side and not divide if possible. Okay, so here's one. So when this goes into a signature, it's going to go like this. It goes into a signature like that. Okay. And then when you turn the page, we have that. So there's one. Two. Three. All different, really. And then here's our cars with a little one here. And there's four. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's something that just kind of is a little bit different than what we normally do uh, in junk journaling. And I hope that you'll give it a try and let me know what you think. All right. We're right at an hour. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for coming to the Little Yellow House. Um, we hope that you will subscribe to our channel. And um, thank you so much for your sweet comments. And officially i want you to know we pray blessings over you and you're so loved so we'll see you in the next video bye